Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on compiler phases in compiler design. Okay, a compiler can be operated in phases. What is phase? A phase is nothing but it can take source program as input in one representation and produces the output in another representation. Okay, it can take the source program in one representation and produces the output program in another representation. The phases of the compiler can be divided into two phases. First one is analysis phase, second one is synthesis phase. The analysis phase is also called as mission independent phase or our language independent, language dependent phase. Okay. So the analysis phase mainly depends on the language in which the program is translated or it is independent of the mission. Okay, the analysis phase is independent of independent of mission but dependent on the language. The analysis phase mainly consists of four phases of the compiler. First one is lexical analysis or a scanner. Second one is syntax analysis or a parsing. Third one is semantic analysis. And fourth one is intermediate code generation. So these four phases are independent of the mission on which the program is executed but it depends on the language on which language the program is to be executed so this is the description about the analysis phase okay second one is synthesis phase so it is synthesis phase is also called as mission dependent phase or a language independent phase. That means, so synthesis phase, so independent on the mission on which the program is to be executed. Okay, but independent of the language in which the program is to be executed. So the synthesis phase mainly consists of two phases of the compiler. First one is code optimization, second one is code generation. Okay, now what is the difference between analysis phase and synthesis phase? So the analysis phase is independent of the independent of the mission on which the program is to be executed. But dependent on the language in which the program is to be executed. While in the case of synthesis phase, it depends on the mission on which the program is to be executed, but it is independent of language on which the program is to be executed. The analysis phase mainly consists of four phases of the compiler. First one is lexical analysis for our scanning. Second one is syntax analysis for our parsing. Third one is semantic analysis. And fourth one is intermediate code generation. Why in the case of synthesis phase consists of two phases of the compiler. First one is code optimization. Second one is code generation. Okay, so this diagram shows both the phases of the compiler. So here this is analysis phase and this is the synthesis phase. The analysis phase can take the source program as input and produces the output is intermediate code representation.
So the synthesis phase can take the input is intermediate code generation and produces the output is mission code or a target program. Okay. So here the input is a source program for analysis phase. The output is intermediate code generation. So the input for the synthesis phase is intermediate code generation and output of synthesis phase is mission code or a target program. Next one is the phases of the compiler can be divided into uh, two groups. First one is front end and second one is back end. Front end, front end comprises of those phases that are dependent on the input. So that is source language and independent of the target mission. That is target language. So front end depends on the source language and independent of the target language. The front end consists of four phases of the compiler. First one is lexical analysis. Second one is syntax analysis. Third one is semantic analysis. Fourth one is intermediate code generation. Okay. Second, second one is backend. Backend comprises of those phases. So, which are dependent on the target mission and independent of the source language. So, in other words, so the backend only dependent on the target mission and independent of the source language. Source language or language. Mainly backend consists of two phases of the compiler. First one is code optimization. Second one is code generation. Okay. Both frontend and backend includes uh, two operations. First one is error handling operations. Second one is symbol table management. Okay. So front end consists of symbol table management and error handling operations. Back end consists of symbol table management and error handling operations or phases. Here, what is the difference between front end and back end? So front end depends only on the source language that is input that is source program but it is independent of target language. Okay. But in the case of back end, back end depends only on the mission or target mission but independent of the source language. Okay. So this is the main difference between uh, front end and back end. Okay. So we are combining front end and back end, then we are getting phases of all phases of compiler. First one is lexical analysis, second one is syntax analysis, third one is a semantic analysis, fourth one is intermediate code generation, fifth one is code optimization, and sixth one is code generation. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.